You want to get more loot in Escape from Tarkov for your farming methods or your daily average rate. Today I want to show you my top 5 unlooted spots in Escape from Tarkov. This one is going to be very interesting, very easy and this will bring you more profit in Escape from Tarkov. So let's start immediately. Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back for you guys out there, glad to have you here. As always, this video will help you to improve your Tarkov experience in terms of getting more loot. No matter which level of player you are, you will profit from this video from my top 5 unlooted areas. And we will start with, as always, grab any drink you like, grab any snack you like to enjoy this video even further. So let's start with my number 5 and don't expect too much from number 5, it's the Ural trailer on woods right after the wireless check in the camp, in the sawmill camp on woods. And why is it so good? Because it's an easy additional point to grab some loot during your woods raid or a quest or whatever and you can find two jackets and one ammo crate in this trailer. I guess it's the N uh, the HL50, I'm not sure about that, but it's, I guess, a, a Ural trailer. So it's a metal trailer. You produce some metal steps, so be aware of that. But these places are almost unlooted every time and it's an easy way to get some more loot. But it's not just number five and we will continue with number four. But for you guys, it's important to watch the whole video because even number four is a better place to grab some more loot. And number four is the HEPS key or let's say the HEPS location, the USAC storage room on shoreline right at the hydraulic power station. Pretty good key, very easy to get after some quests from Jaeger. If you sold the key, I would buy it back for, from the flea market for around 60k. It's worth because it's almost unlooted every time as well because nobody's carrying the key. You have some opportunities to loot some toolboxes, some jackets without a key. And if you open up the room, there is an intelligence spawn two crates, one small, I will call the black Iskra crate because you can find almost every time a Iskra lunchbox there and you can find a lot of different weapon attachments and as I said, you have an intelligence spawn right there. So the power station is in the middle of the map. I wouldn't go there straight away because it's a very central position if players want to cross from the coast or from different spawns to the resort, but I would go there like in the early mid time period of the raid. You should go there because you have key, some key spawns in the open area, but the storage room is also worth a watch. But it's not as good as my number two and number one, but my number three is possibly a surprise to you. Number three is, I will call it, the food area on interchange. Yes, we have some unlooted spots on interchange and number three is actually pretty huge. Since Battleset Games updated the loot table in, Goshen, in the Goshen area on interchange, the food area is amazing, believe it guys. You can go there and you can grab some quest items like the small Tushonka, the big Tushonka, the beef stew. You can find some condensed milk which is 15k each. Tar Cola, you can find energy drinks which are also 10 to 15k each. This area can help you to finish your quests more quicker and almost every item has a 10 to 15k average and is one slot. You can find whiskey, you can find Alyonka chocolate bars and it's pretty good because since interchange is pretty crowded and I would grab almost every item in my, in my run on interchange no matter which type of misc's item, light bulbs and all of that. But light bulbs and caps and, and every one of these items have a less average worth compared to the Tarakola and all of that what I told you before. So the food area is really good and if you have a bad interchange run and you missed some good loot go there and you can find very easy money. Number two is pretty unknown and it's the barn area or I, I'm calling it barn area on woods pretty close to the new exit on woods which is also in the new area and you have two pretty interesting locations. The first smaller house is you have some server racks, you have some crates, but what I really would recommend is the bigger barn. You have several crates, you have a pretty interesting table, you can find some weapon attachments, suppressor and all of that stuff. And you have these bigger wooden crates which are also very good because you can find 
medical supplies, you can find cigarettes for your quests, almost everything which has a certain value to the game, to your progress. So this barn area is pretty pretty good. It's not in the middle of the map, it's a little bit in a dip, so you have some safe locations, it's not an open area, and I really like the barn area because it's a, it's a little bit off the show and I really like it. So I would really recommend to you guys check out the barn area, check out the crates and the table to grab some weapon attachments and all of the stuff you need. And if you are familiar, if you are a loyal community, you know, as you are of course, and I know you, want, you know my number one, it's the wooden shack. I'm calling it wooden shack or suppressor shack on woods. Pretty close to outskirts and the scaffolds. Of course, I will show you the map. And this wooden shack, this suppressor shack is amazing. You have some several weapon attachment spawns, salewa, food, beverage, all of that stuff. You can find NVGs and you have this small ammo, this, this greenish ammo crate with some ammo boxes laying on the ground. This area is my number one. Why? Because it's not off the show. It's like you can spawn pretty close. It's on your exit way or like you, you, you as I said, you spawn there. It's not you have to invest more time on your raid. You can check by, you can grab everything you need. You can continue hunting Sturman. You can continue to your exit. You can continue to the checkpoint, snipe some player down or whatever. This suppressor check, this wooden check is amazing. It's my by far number one. Early in the wipe, you can grab some NVGs, which are pretty good. NVGs early on will help you with your progress early on in the wipe. So that's why I really recommend loot the wooden shack. And surprisingly, and that's why it's why that's why it's on my number one as well. It's most of the times unlooted. I do not know why. Probably some players uh, think that they do not get any loot there and it's like just a uh, yeah wooden shack, nothing special. But guys believe me, the wooden suppressor shack it's amazing and it has its name not from nothing, the suppressor shack will give you almost all the time suppressors. I storage a lot of the new best suppressor for AR-15, the Seika suppressor. I sold them right now for almost 80 to 100k. It was worth due to the fact that I looted the suppressor shack on watch on watch regularly. Big recommendation for this area and I hope I could help you with my top, top five unlooted spots. Try all the time to be to, to overcommit to give you more information as promised. So I hope this video could help you. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about it. As always, we want, as Germans, we want to win at least something. It's very important to us. That's why I want to win your like for this video. So like this video, it really helps to this channel to grow. And don't forget to stay safe. See you in the next video, guys.